Hey guys, Spartan Flux Airsofting again. Just wanted to show you uh, my new stuff. I, I know we've been off the grid for a while. You know, our entire team was you know busy with summer sports activities and whatnot. But we're back, and uh, first off, we have new uniforms. I'll be doing a loadout video coming up uh, probably within the next week or two. But right now, I just want to show you my new vest that I got, my new play carrier. This is a Condor MOPC Modular Operator Play Carrier. I got it in the color tan because it works with our new loadout that I will be showing you later. Anyway, um, it's a low budget. It's about 70 bucks. With all the pouches you're going to want and stuff, depending on how much you want, it's going to go from about an 80 to a 90 maybe even a $100 purchase. But anyway, uh, that all depends on how many pouches you buy and so on and so forth, what company makes them, how expensive the pouches are, like regular Matrix pouches or Blue Force gear, you know, that's a huge difference. Anyway, um, just going to go over from top to bottom. On the top here, until I can get a tan one, I have my old OD Matrix one point bungee sling. It works fine and uh, no complaints about it. Just gonna get a tan one for uh, the loadout, but it's not a really big deal. Um, it has Velcro underneath this admin pouch. The Velcro goes all the way across the top. There's three rows of Molly there. But um, yeah, I have a Z, Z Tactical. Motorola PTT or a PTT for a Motorola talk about that's right and um, I got an alligator clipped onto the top there just because this wouldn't fit into the shoulder strap the plug would not fit into the sh shoulder strap unless it was moved up higher you can just velcro it onto the vest which I had originally done but this doesn't go into the shoulder strap which I want it to so I use the alligator clip to kind of bump it up a little bit a on the top over here I have a Standard large admin pouch in tan. By the way, for the record, just so I don't have to say this again, this is all Condor pouches except for this woodland one, which houses my Thunder Bee, but that's not important. Just letting you know, so I don't have to repeat myself. So Condor large admin pouch with a flashlight or a large utility, you know, tool holder, whatever you want to call it. Velcro real estate all along the front here, which is really nice. I put, you know, Squad leader, my uh, cousin's master sergeant patch when he went to the army, and a sniper tab just because I don't have room for it on my arm. But whatever. Uh, little pouch right here. Nothing really in there. Just It's kind of like a quick to go space. And then on top here is a zipper, which is the main compartment. And you know, as I keep all my stuff in here like a letter in case I have to whip any loose strings. I have some stuff to clean my lenses, I have uh, a knife, I have some CO2 canisters, I have uh, Thunderbee parts, you know, stuff like that. Stuff I just, you know, access quickly in case something breaks or whatnot. On the left side here, I have a standard climbing carabiner with some electrical tape. In case something breaks on the field, you gotta, you know, tape it up or whatnot. Just put it together. I'm actually gonna go like this real quick. So it's easier for you to see. I have a Thunder Bee. This is the woodland pouch. This is will be switched out because the pouch I bought for it did not fit my Thunder Bee. It's made for a tornado, which is the Condor Flashbang pouch. That's something to keep in mind. The Condor Flashbang pouches do not fit Thunder Bees. They are made for tornadoes. They only fit tornadoes. So, yeah. This is a personal pouch from an Army Navy store. Triple M4 stacker mag pouch now it says triple because it holds three across but because of the stacker part what you actually get is a six mag holder it goes one two three in the front and if you can see one two three in the back and yeah it comes with these little bungee strings that I didn't really like so I just kind of push them off the side and they had them in the front here and I took those off because when you, it's loose at first but when you put all six mags in you know, you're not going to need them. It's pushed up against each other well enough that it's not going to fall out and it's it's not going anywhere. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, lots of molly space on the front. And it does have that little pouch. So if you're one of those first people that like to put inserts in here for, you know, like the, uh, the M4 
pouch inserts for your AR style gun or even you know MP7 inserts or whatever kind of inserts they have you could put that in there or just other stuff that way you can run like something more low profile like blue force gear on the front and if you want more mags you could put that in that pouch with the inserts but that's up to you uh, on the left side here or you're right but it's left when I'm wearing it is my three uh, my triple pistol mag pouch right now until I can get another pistol mag pouch because they're like forty dollars which kind of sucks but whatever I just have three speed loaders in case I want to refill anything up on the field if I need more mid cap ammo I still have one mag for my pistol but you know that kind of goes quick so if I need to fill up anything I can at least fill up a ma uh, about two or three mags so I think it'll be fine on that what you can see is from my PTT the wire runs behind here through the molly and to the back of the vest oh glued my rug one second there you go which has a condor radio pouch small type uh, standard micro talk by Cobra gets like seven miles on it it's good enough for me I don't know about you guys but I don't need anything longer than like a mile or two um, so, sewn on velcro handle no velcro on there uh, velcro real estate once again all on the three top molly spaces just like on the front it has I have my custom name tape there in ACU large type utility pouch for by Condor now something to keep in mind I was gonna put this on the side but if you can see this takes up about half of the almost uh, three-fourths of the uh, back panel for my plate carrier so this is a very large pouch I did not know that I thought it was a small kind of you know put it on the side kind of thing but no that's not the case so I put it on the back and I, in here I got my Portugal patch because of Portuguese got to wrap them pork chops but it's velcro and buckles I got some allen keys and just some extra Thunderbee shells nothing too much in there that I need on the field so just gonna close that up turn it down cool this is the flashbang pouch that I was talking about before uh, but it only fits a Thunder B. I even cut off it had that elastic that goes around the uh, I don't know where the camera angle is here okay so it had the elastic going around so I thought maybe it was too tight but yet it was still even when I cut the elastic off it was still too small for the uh, Thunder B so a tornado would probably be the only thing to fit in there keep you know that's something to keep in mind just to let you know shoulder straps something I really like about these shoulder straps is that the velcro is really good it goes right on top of your shoulders which is really nice I know a lot of them you get the ones that sag to the front but no these are actually on top of your shoulders and if you want to adjust them it's velcro so it stays very securely it's not moving on you and I put these up you know relatively tight I'm five foot nine and I have the body of about someone who weighs it around like you know I would say about 145 but I'm a I don't know why but my weird body it weighs about 155 but I'm just you know for your guys sake I it, I tightened it all the way but the velc or the strap came up to about here so I just cut that not a big deal just cut that off no problem works perfectly fine now I'm not going to show you how it fits on me today because I don't have a cameraman to show you and I don't have the editing program on my computer to edit it out so it just look really sloppy so I will just show you it in the loadout video but it sits very very well um, it has a cummerbund system like all MOPCs you lift up the front it has two straps that go like you know one here and one here I'm going to just pull off the right side the inside you keep it closed by buckling it and then putting the strap on and then closing the front it has these inner pockets on the cummerbund system for you know anything special like your phone or keys or something you don't want to get lost that's a good place to keep it it's low profile keeps it inside and nothing to worry about there I tightened the MLPC was very wide on me I'm a very skinny person so 
I got it as tight as I could, like complete tightness as I, much as I could, and then I taped it with my the electrical tape I have on the carabiner, and it fits like perfect. I mean, like right on my sides. The vest doesn't move, you know, it, because you tighten it, it doesn't make some awkward shape. It uh, it sits very, very comfortably. I have, I was very surprised by that, and it works very, very beautifully. So, Condor really made a good job with this. And uh, to access plates, if you want to put in foam plates, or a cardboard, or for even real plates, if you're that weird of a person, you just simply, on each panel, there's this Velcro strap, it's the same on the front. Uh, you pull that off, you open this up, you pull that down, and as you can see, I inserted some cardboard in there and some foam plates. So, uh, just to give it some more bulkiness and some more shape to it, because without any cardboard or anything, these can be kind of flabby. Uh, but if you add some cardboard in there, it's not going to be an issue. One thing to keep in mind is that what lots of people do is that they'll they will make everything on the front like all you know their pouches their magazines how the magazines going across they got like five thunder bees they got like a bunch of kangaroo pouches for the heavy you know high kappa mags and then the vest sits on you like that it will ride up like a motherfucker so Keep in mind that it, it will get front heavy if you keep loading stuff on the front. That's why I kind of put that back panel thing on there as a counterweight. You know, the radio, which doesn't have too much weight on it, but still, just another counterweight. And I will be putting something in here just to counterweight it back onto my body. And it fits very well once I put all that stuff in. But before I put this back panel on, it was actually, you know, very, very front heavy. So keep in mind you're going to want something for your, va your back, whether it's a... You know, a map, like the GMR backpacks, which are, like, really expensive. So, I don't know if you have that much money, but they're, like, 140 I think. But, um, you know, even if it's, like, a, just a hydration pouch, all that water weight will help bring it back. And uh, maybe some extra, extra molly space. Or even if it's just a hydration carrier, you take out the bladder and just put some counterweight in it, you'll be fine. So, uh, yeah. There is no hydration... Uh, oh, yes, there is. A, oh, no, just kidding. There's, uh, like, no hydration slot. I know some vests have it right integrated into the vest, but um, this one does not have any hydration slot for it. Anyway, this is Spartan Flux Airsofting. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll get to you guys as soon as possible, or one of the teammates will. I'll be coming out with a new loadout video soon, so please stay in, uh, you know, in a touch and kind of look at our videos. We're coming back. This coming up Saturday, I will have a gameplay video from Striker, so be sure to check that out. And uh, yeah, this is Spartan Flex Airsofting, so remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys.